In this video, we're going to show that var x is equal to b minus a all squared over 12 for the continuous uniform distribution. So var x is equal to b minus a all squared over 12 for the continuous uniform distribution or rectangular distribution. Let's just sketch up the continuous distribution, what we're going to have. So here's our continuous uniform distribution here. We're going to have the x-axis and then what we'll have is some value a. I'll say that that's going to be the value of a, this will be the value of b, and then we'll have now this x-axis here. Dropping a perpendicular down, we've got this point right here. That's going to be a, this point is going to be b. So let's go ahead and label this up. So what we've got then is a, so a, this is going to be b, this is the x-axis, and then this value right here is simply going to be 1 over b minus a. Remember, this now is a continuous uniform distribution. This is now the f of x. We can define the f of x, let's write that here. The f of x can be given now as 1 over b minus a, where x is between a and b, and then we'll have 0 otherwise. So this now is our f of x. If we consider var x, we can write now var x will be equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. Let's define these in terms of their integrals. So we can say the expected value of x is equal to the integral of x multiplied by the f of x and we're integrating with respect to x. If we consider the expected value of x squared in terms of its integral, we've got now the integral of x squared multiplied now by the f of x, and we're integrating with respect to x. So let's first deal with the expected value of x and apply it to our case. So this one right here, this is what we're going to start off with. So we've got now the x multiplied by this function just here. So from here, we can say now that the expected value of x and I'm just going to bring now this 1 over b minus a to the left of the integral sign. That's merely a constant. So we can have 1 over b minus a. We're going to have the integral from a to b of x multiplied by this function, which is simply going to give me x. And of course, we're integrating with respect to x. So we're going to get now the expected value of x will be equal to. We need to integrate this. So we raise by a power and divide by the new power. So we can now write that this is going to be from a to b, x squared over 2, and then we'll have b minus a. Let's go ahead and evaluate this. What we're going to have from here now is the expected value of x will be equal to b squared minus a squared. So we're going to have b squared minus a squared over 2, and then we'll have b minus a. We can tidy this up, and we can write this as a difference of squares. So the expected value of x... Difference of squares, b minus a, b plus a, and that's now over 2b minus a. The b minus a's are going to cancel, so we can say from this that the expected value of x is going to be b plus a over 2. And that's the standard result that we're given now for this particular value. So there's your expected value. What we'll now do is look at the expected value of x squared. So take him expected value of x squared, and that's this one right here. So let's just highlight this one. That's what we're now dealing with. So the expected value of x squared, all we need to do here is multiply our function by x squared and then integrate. So what we're going to have, again, bringing the constant to the left of the integral sign, we're going to have b minus a, the integral of x squared dx. If I multiply this function here by x squared, this is what I'm going to get. We're interested in this from a to b. So what we're going to have then is the expected value of x squared will be now. I need to raise by a power and divide by the new power. So we're going to go from a to b, and we're going to have x cubed over 3 lots of b minus a. OK, let's go ahead and evaluate this. What we're going to get then is the expected value of x squared will be b cubed minus a cubed. All I've done is subbed in b and subbed in a over 3 lots of b minus a. This is a difference of cubes, and we can rewrite this. So I'm just going to write it here. We've got now the expected value of x squared. Taking out b minus a, we're going to have b minus a. Then we can have b squared plus ab plus a squared. And that will give us our difference of cubes. We've then got now 3b minus a. 
b minus a's are going to cancel, so we can say that the expected value of x squared will be b squared plus ab plus a squared all over 3. Let's go back to what we've defined uh, var x to be. Var x is e of x squared, so the expected value of x squared minus the square of the expected value. So what we can now say is the following. We can say var x will be equal to this value right here, which is going to be b squared plus ab plus a squared over 3 minus now the b plus a over 2 squared. So we're going to have b plus a over 2 and we need to square that. So let's go ahead and do this. What we'll have then is var x will be equal to b squared plus ab plus a squared over 3 minus, then we're going to have now b squared plus 2ab plus a squared and that's going to be over 4. So let's get a common denominator and let's write this out, var x. Common denominator quite clearly is going to be the product of these two which is going to be 12. So let's write out a denominator. So I'm going to have now, multiplying this side by 4, I'm going to have 4a squared, uh, or 4b squared I should really start with, plus now 4ab plus 4b squared, I suppose the other way around would have been better, minus 3b squared minus 6ab minus 3a squared. Okay, let's do some tidying up. So var x is equal to this, and just doing some tidying up from here. We can see now that we're going to have 4a squared minus 3a squared, which is going to give me a squared. We've got 4ab minus 6ab, which is going to be minus 2ab. Then we're going to have 4b squared minus 3b squared, which is going to be now plus b squared, and that's all over 12. If we consider now, we can factor this. So what we can do is factor this now to var x will be, and we've got a squared minus 2ab minus b squared, which is going to give me a minus b, all squared over 12 as required. So there we go. That's now uh, showing that var x is equal to b minus a all squared over 12 for the continuous uniform distribution. We're simply using that integration, tidying up at the end and doing a bit of factoring.